I'm Rafe Bennett, Vice President of Product Management at Opscore. I'm Jamie Caldwell, retired military, 21 years in special operations, multiple combat deployments, and end user of Opscore's products. Attaching accessories and enablers to a helmet has always been a challenge. In the mid-2000s, Opscore developed the arc rail, which provided a consistent and repeatable mechanical way to attach things. Railing takes that to the next generation by adding power and data connectivity and a centralized battery pack. Until this rail system came out, we were drilling additional holes into this because we didn't have that. Then we start adding more and more to our helmet, you know, overall adding more weight and everything had its own battery. We've got a lot of wires hanging everywhere. There's snag hazards. Jamie, that makes it really clear the benefits of Railink really shrinking everything together. The main components of Railink consist of that central battery pack we talked about. So you've got six AA batteries attached to the rear, and that's feeding power and sharing data with all the other accessories. We've got strobes and lights attached to the arc rails that are power and data enabled on both sides. There's two nodes on each side. And then there's also a dedicated visual augmentation system channel that allows a different voltage and high-speed data to also flow through to support your night vision goggles. So Battery Pack Plus is the central power fuel tank for the railing system. And it not only holds six AA lithium batteries, giving you about 50% more capacity than in the old pack, but it also enables the transfer of data and power and disseminating that to all the accessories and nodes that are on the helmet. There's also some smarts built into this pack. We have a Coulomb counter that provides battery charge state information to your VAST system so you know when the battery's running down, and also an accelerometer in here. And that gives the relative position of the helmet and the battery pack versus your night vision system so that it can turn off when it's in a position that you want it to turn off. It's got two thumb screws that hold it onto the system and it connects through the hot shoe. And those two thumb screws are used to make sure there's no way this is gonna accidentally come off. And once it's connected through the hot shoe, it's enabling the whole system to have power and to share data. Definitely a huge advancement over the simple battery pack that we used to have. As you can see on the older system, what we had for cable management was, well, we didn't really have anything. So how did you guys manage that on the new system? Yeah, absolutely, Jamie. That was one of the primary design goals was to take care of all that and really make it not be an issue. So Railink embeds the cables for both the VAST system, your NVG cables, but also to run power to all these accessories within the rail. So there's no snag hazards, there's no different length cables to manage or attach in different ways. The last thing you want on an op is you snag this cable and it breaks, you get a, a rip and it tear and your nods go down, you may be done for the night. So that, I like it. Now my older helmet, battery pack, I've got a brighter light here, I got my strobe light, I've got a dimmer light here, everything individual, batteries, nothing talks to each other. How did you guys fix that and how are we doing that now on the new system? The interface for the accessories is really the key to Railink and that's the node that you see at the top of the rail and those nodes provide both a mechanical and a power and data connection. So there's places for screws to come in, there's places for the electronic connection to come and those are all protected with both a waterproof seal and then also a Hall effect sensor that makes sure that the node is not energized unless there's an accessory attached. I almost have incorporated a lot of different accessories. How did you guys incorporate and who did you partner with to put everything on one helmet? Well, we knew that our customers wouldn't accept any compromises, so we went to the best accessory makers. We reached out to Core Survival, and they made the strobes that you see. Princeton Tech made the navigation light, and Surefire made the high-intensity Vizin IR light. You guys went to the exact companies for what guys are using out there in the field and in combat. You guys knocked it out of the park. How now are we managing the power to the goggle through rail? Raylink is designed to support those night vision systems, including the newer ones with fused thermal channels and a requirement for power and data. We've embedded that in a dedicated bass channel that goes from the battery pack and hot shoe all the way to the connector at the front of the Raylink system. What that allows us to do is you don't have a different lengths of cable to deal with. It can provide three or nine volts, depending on what your night vision system needs, and it can provide that high-speed data that you need to support fused or even augmented reality feeds into the goggle. The railing system allows the accessories to be a lot smaller and tighter to the helmet. Can you talk about what that means for you as someone who's wearing it? So you can see this is a helmet that I've worn for many, many years in combat and in training. And anybody that's spent a lot of time under a helmet with all the accessories on it can see it's just heavy, it's bulky. The longer you spend with the helmet on your head, it starts to fatigue. To add to longevity of ops, having all this stuff be in a tighter center of gravity is just going to allow this to be way more comfortable on your head. 
so I can wear it for longer periods of time. It's not putting as much wear on my neck, getting rid of all that bulkiness, streamlining it all so it's tighter in on the helmet, makes it a lot more manageable. So Rafe, it's been great to be a part of this whole project. What is the future for this and how can other companies get involved? Railing has established a base capability that you see here with our partners, Core, Surefire, and Princeton Tech. The future that's really exciting is as we add new capabilities to that. So anything from cameras, sensors, all who can benefit by being made smaller because they don't need to have their own battery and sharing data that they might be generating or sharing. Awesome to see what people come up with and how everything will integrate.